Yo, what is going on guys? Jack here, and welcome to episode 44 of my Tracksuit to the Top series here with Lewis FC in the Sky Bet League One. Hopefully you guys are good. Today we have for ourselves the Johnson's Paint Trophy Final. Our first chance at domestic silverware. It's our first trip to Wembley, hopefully of many in this series with this club, and it's an exciting one. But before that, we've got a few games to cover, because we are in March, we've played seven games since the last episode, which was against Peterborough, and we've gone on an incredible run. In the last seven games, we've conceded two goals. We actually had five clean sheets in a row, which is something I don't think we've achieved at any level during this save. Things have just seemed to click, forms kind of picked up, you know, that win against Peterborough really galvanised the side, has given the team a lot of confidence, and we've really been able to kick on as a result. Anyway, the first result was a 2-1 win against Watford. Uh, William Lukunku, or Lukunku, I can't say his name, Lukunku, uh, getting the goal for us that mattered. And he got the Man of the Match award for this game as well. Played really well at centre mid for this game. Of course, the young, uh, I think it's Democratic Republic of Congo. Yeah, it is. The young Democratic Republic of Congo International, 19 years old. You know, he's played a few games for us. Not played great, but in this game, he was the difference maker. Grabbing a goal and an assist. Alex Samuel grabbing the other goal. And we won 2-1. As I mentioned, we then went on a run of five clean sheets in a row, and this started off with a fantastic 2-0 win against Bradford, a game where we actually went one man down after 23 minutes, but you wouldn't have known it. We absolutely dominated on the pitch. It was a fun game to watch. It was a fun game to kind of see us play so well in, and a great result as a result. Anyway, the next game was another 2-0 win, back-to-back. -back. Uh, this one came against Shrewsbury, away from home. No sendings off this game, thankfully. Uh, however, you may notice Josh Smith starting in goal for us. Um, the reason for that being is that our first-choice goalkeeper, Mullen, broke his fingers in training. And he's out, been out for seven weeks. I think it was six to seven weeks he's been out. He's out for this game as well. As you can see, he's missed the last five games, and this one... Um, that I was covering against Shrewsbury was the first game without him, but we managed to keep a clean sheet in his absence, a really impressive performance. He didn't have too much to do, only two shots on target coming his way. The next result was a 3-0 win against Notts County, of course a team who were in League 2 with us last year and came up with us. A little bit of a bogey side of sorts last year, we did lose to them quite heavily early on last season, but this year you know, we've been a completely different beast, our new acquisitions have had a massive impact, and Rolando Aarons this game had a massive impact, getting a goal and I believe he also got an assist. Looking at the stats, we were very much in control of this game, well worth our lead. Interesting to see Borthwick Jackson, the centre-back, get the Man of the Match award, of course this is the centre-back second year at the club. This year he's actually scored four goals and a 7.33 average rating for a centre-back is really impressive. He's been one of the standout performers in this year's side and alongside him Pierce Sweeney has performed really well too. He's got a 7.37 average rating. Um, I guess the downside with both those players is they have both been sent off already this year and you know that's kind of been an issue but Besides that, they've been solid together. Anyway, the next result was another defensive display as we got a 1-0 win against Scunthorpe, who were really low down in the table, but we did keep the clean sheet. Nutcham getting the, the goal that counted this time and getting the match, man of the match. I think he got the goal. He didn't. Alex Samuel got the goal. He got the assist. Uh, but this guy obviously has been absolutely incredible for us. Nine goals, nine assists in 29 games. The low knee in from... Manchester City really has performed well. And again, in this game, we were playing without one centre attacking mid and one striker formation that you saw last episode. The last game in this run of results was against Barnet and marked the end of our clean sheet run. Again, sticking with the 4-4-1-1. Uh, again, that we just dominated really well, you know. Again, Josh Smith in goal didn't have a lot to do, but what he did do, he dealt with well, and it was a good win. And then the last result, we lost our clean sheet run in the 89th minute, unfortunately, but a good win again, this time against Barnsley. 3-1 it finished. Um, and yeah, just a really, really impressive performance by the entire team. Uh, worth noting with this game, we did go back to playing two up front. Adam Armstrong coming back to full fitness uh, meant that we could afford to finally play with another striker. So anyway, today's game is against uh, Hartlepool in the Johnson's Paint Trophy. Hartlepool, for those interested, are currently playing in League 2. If we look at League 2, you can see... Where are they? Where are they? I can't see Hartlepool. They're in 18th, so they're struggling a little bit. So this should be a game that we expect to win. Yeah, as you can see, since they've been relegated, they have struggled in this division that they're currently stuck in. So I'm optimistic that we can do something here, hopefully get the win. Um, looking at our route to the final, just so you guys can see it, it was a, a quite 
challenging route. It certainly could have been easier. Uh, so you can see we started off with a 3-2 win against South End. We then beat Wickham, which was a really good performance, 6-3. Then we beat Watford and Peterborough, two very big teams in our league. And it is worth noting that this year Watford really have stepped things up uh, recently. Uh, they're now in eighth place. So nowhere near where you'd expect them to be considering they were the favourites to win the league. But they've recovered quite substantially. We then beat Stevenage back-to-back 4-3 -back uh, wins in the semi-finals to go through 8-6 on aggregate. And today we play at Wembley against the mighty uh, Hartlepool. So hopefully we can get a good result today. As you can see, we've actually played so many games this year. Like It's ridiculous how much football has been played. Uh, looking at the player stats, just for people who are curious, you can see top of average ratings is Jerome Sinclair. He's been performing great. Slowly getting back to match fitness. Is on the bench for us today, but isn't going to be starting because he's just not ready to return after his long-term injury that, of course, he suffered a few episodes ago. Uh, you can see looking at the other stuff, goal stats, Alex Samuel, 37 goals in 46 games for him. Nitsham has done really well as well, 15 goals in 39. Uh, Adam Armstrong on loan from Newcastle has done well. Rolando Ahrens, who I believe was released from Newcastle, he was, um, has done really well for us as well. Nine assists and eight goals for him out on the wing. He's been a, a massive player for, this, for us this year and a fantastic signing. But anyway, let's get into today's game. It is a big one, as I already mentioned. We are going to be playing Hartlepool. We're going back to our 4-4-2 system. This is a chance for Silver, our first opportunity for any kind of domestic success in this save. We've not got to a final of a cup competition before. We didn't do anything in the FA Trophy. We're back when we were in the non-league uh, kind of divisions. We haven't done anything in the League Cup and the FA Cup beyond the third and fourth round. So this is a chance. That, of course, if we achieve what we're on course to do at the moment, which is win the league and win promotion, we won't be able to retain this title if we were to win it. But at the same time, if we get promoted, there's an un, kind of quite an unlikely chance of us actually being able to win silverware, at least for a few years, considering the only competitions we'll be in are the League Cup and FA Cup. So this is an opportunity. I'm hoping the players are going to step up to the occasion. Obviously, Hartlepool not the strongest team, but they've done very well to battle and get here as a League 2 side. I don't think they're going to be pushovers, as they have a chance to Gill. When he grabs Hartlepool an early lead, 10 minutes in from their first shot on target, they find themselves 1-0 up, and this is not the start we wanted to our first trip to Wembley. Um, poor marking, just let him have an opportunity, and he was just able to place the shot with his left foot, and it's poor. Obviously, not having Mullen in goal, I was expecting to actually have a lot bigger an impact on our last few games, but obviously, as you guys have seen... Um, Four clean sheets for our backup goalkeeper, um, Smith. Um, it's quite impressive, and I was hoping he was going to maintain that level of performance here, but unfortunately it's just not happened so far. Defensively, we've been very superb in front of him in limited opposition opportunities, so he's not had that much to do, but he had dealt with stuff when it had been called upon. We've got a chance here, though. Samuel! Got to do better there. Two clear-cut chances we've missed in the first 20 minutes, and we find ourselves a goal down. I'm hoping that we can what's the word, I guess not maintain that kind of performance for the rest of the game. Lewis Thompson with a knock, it's probably not worth risking him. Let's bring on uh, Liam Walsh to play in the centre mid position. But this is very disappointing at the moment. I want the players to step up start giving the performance that the fans want and will expect. So we have a chance here. Armstrong hits the post. He was offside though. But that was another good opportunity. Good to see us at least creating chances, I guess. You know, 35 minutes in. We're only one goal down. We are looking like, by far and away, the better team. But a set piece here. Can we deal with it? Perch. Davis. Davis off the crossbar. Sweeney deals with it. We've just been let off the hook. That was far too close to comfort. We are not looking good. I am not, 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 not happy with how things are going right now and at half time the players are going to be getting a bollocking because we are 1-0 down at Wembley in a game that we really should be doing better in there is a chance here with two minutes left of the half this might slightly change my team talk depending on which way it goes Nitchum though making his way down the the wing options inside Gnor's there Samuel hit that if you want Good ball, good football, Armstrong with the goal, that is going to change my team talk. That was a really nice worked goal down the left-hand side, that, or sorry, the right-hand side. That really um, it kind of epitomises our team and how we play. Really nice passing football, sticking with quite a traditional 4-4-2 throughout this save for the most part, and it served us quite well. 
But that's a, a good goal. Keep going out there and you can win this one. Let's tell the players I've got faith in them. Not quite as effective as it has been in past FMs, this team talk. But it's a safe one. We're in a cup final. I do want more from our team. I think we've got the capabilities to do that. Now it's a case of them proving me right as we are on the attack from kickoff. Why am I getting my hopes up? This is always a pointless highlight. Always. See? Nothing ever happens from kickoff. And yet every time it happens and you get into that half, you, you get that inkling inside that it might be just the one time where it isn't pointless. But anyway, 1-1 one, one here at Wembley. You know, we're still in this. This is the Johnson's Pay Trophy final. Some nice football here. Aaron's making a run inside. Armstrong's there. Gnor on the overlap on the right-hand side. Can he look for the ball in? He can. Nitchum, Armstrong there with the goal. It's 2-1. The commentators just said, now that's football. It certainly is. What a goal that was. Another really good passing goal. Really just showing some, perhaps some supreme quality compared to Hartlepool. And it's a great finish in the end by Armstrong in the centre. Fantastic thing. And now Jordan Hugill, their goal scorer, has had to go off injured. It just gets slightly better for us. Half an hour left. I'm not going to make too many tactical changes just yet. No one's looking absolutely knackered on our team. So we're just going to stick with the players that we've got. We're performing well now. And Samuel with a deflected effort. It's offside, I think. It is offside. See? This is why I play on 2D. Not only because it's my personal preference. Because I can see when the linesman flags a lot more easily than sometimes in 3D. And right there, we've just been denied a chance to go 3-1 up. So with 20 minutes left, we are dominating. I'm really hoping we can get a second goal just to make the last finish to this game comfortable. Oh, OK, there we go. Adam Armstrong with another goal there. Let's bring on some fresh legs. Let's get in uh, Lukunku. And um, I think we'll bring on Muleba as well, just because he's been at the club for such a long time. Always good to give long kind of term servants to the club a chance to, um, I guess, stretch their legs on a big stage. This should be a good one for him. But came from a throw-in. Nice passing play between Armstrong and Aarons, the two Newcastle players, or rather formal Newcastle players. Armstrong is still on loan from there, but Aarons certainly isn't. He is a full-time player, of course, at our club, and he's just got a great assist there. Can we deal with that? Of course we can. Armstrong's on for a hat-trick if he wants it. Nitchum clears it away. Samuel's bursting forward with pace. Armstrong... Oh, I thought he was just going to go and score from there. That would have been an outrageous angle. Unfortunately, somewhat selfishly goes for the... Um, the shot there, perhaps not the most um, smart decision, but it's the decision he made. And now can we look to make something? Ball over the top, Samuel's there. Can he bury it? Can he put the game beyond doubt? No, he cannot. No, he cannot. 3-1 still. We're absolutely pounding their goal now. Nitchum, Samuel, this, this time maybe? No, not this time either. Sweeney, back to Smith. Well, it's looking like we're going to win this with 10 minutes left. I don't want to say it too prematurely, but we're looking far and away the better team. We're creating a lot of chances. Not being able to score one just yet. And, I mean, there is a chance for them to potentially score here and make it nervy. But Smith in goal. Josh Smith making a name for himself here in this final with Mullen out injured and keeping them out at the moment for another time. And But now they're on the attack again. Can we deal with it? No, we can't. Marias with the goal. Five minutes, boys, to hold on. Five minutes. This is poor defending. Caught a little bit narrow. The ball comes in and um, just no one on our team tracking back to deal with the ball. And the ball just finds its way into the six-yard box. Well, there's three minutes left and their keeper has possession. This is getting a little bit nervy. Can, can we not concede, please? Can we not concede? They're on the attack. They're on the attack. They've hit the woodwork. Clear it. We're holding on to the 3-2 lead at the moment. Let's go to control. Let's not tr quite throw as many men for. Let's be a little bit more conservative in possession for the last five minutes. Time's ticking away. Hopefully this is it. If we could get one more goal now, that would be game, set, and match. Samuel kicks it straight the keeper but 20 seconds left surely that's it surely this is our first domestic competition win can't say it's one that i'm particularly thrilled with not that i dislike the johnson's pay trophy but it's a bit of a silly tournament but we've won it and it marks a landmark i guess in this adventure with lewis 
Then we win our first domestic trophy. A good win. Armstrong with a hat trick. What a man. Um, as you can see, Samuel getting the top goal scorer award in the competition, but we had a few players hot on his heels there. But what a win. 3 2, not the most convincing win. We let, made it nervy, but it was an important win. And I'm happy with it. So we go into the record books for winning the Johnson's Paint Trophy. We're given pennies to spend. Excellent. And the board are pleased with how we've done there, which is very, very good news. So anyway, uh, that wraps things up for today's episode, guys. Uh, next episode will probably be the game against Sheffield United in four games' time. The way the league's going at the moment, we are quite comfortably ahead of Sheffield United. It may be the case that we can win the title playing Sheffield United and beating them. It might be the case that we were already kind of guaranteed a promotion spot. You can see, I mean, we're 14 points clear with a game in hand. So the way things are going recently, if we maintain the level of form we're on, it might not matter that Sheffield United game. But it should still be an important one because it does come with four games remaining after that one, meaning that there'll be 12 points available. Um, and as you can see right now, we are six points ahead of Peterborough. So potentially that could win us the title. Uh, I guess you guys will have to tune in next episode to find out how we get on there. Uh, as always, if you have enjoyed the video, smash the like button. It does really help me out. If we could get, I don't know... 400 likes for our first trophy win that would be superb uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this series at the moment next episode will be episode 45 i do believe which has snuck up really quickly uh, hopefully you guys are looking forward to that one uh, and other than that it is me jack and i'll talk to you guys in a bit i'm out <laughs>